Welcome to Geometry Masterclass. In this video, we have a circle and two congruent inscribed angles that have a common side. The sides of the inscribed angles are 4, 5 and 2 respectively. The task is to find the radius of this circle or the circumradius. Let's label some letters. The general formula for the circumradius is a triangle circumradius formula. The circumradius of the triangle can be calculated by multiplying all the sides of the triangle and dividing by the quadruple of a triangle area. We know that one of the triangle area formulas is AB sine alpha divided by 2. If we put this formula here, we can get the second formula, which is much simpler and we are going to use this formula later in this video. First, let's prove that chords BC and CD are congruent. Let's draw a circle and two inscribed angles that lie on the congruent arcs. According to central angle theorem, these two angles are 2 alpha. So what we have, these sides are congruent to each other. And their common angles are also congruent. Therefore, the triangle AOB and the triangle OBC are congruent, according to side angle side rule. And because of triangles AOB and BOC are congruent, AB and BC are congruent, which was required to prove. So now we know that chords BC and CD are congruent. Let's label them X. Here we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ACD. We can use for both these triangles the law of cosines. Here is the law of cosines. The law of cosines is used for determining the side of the triangle by using the rest two sides and their common angle. For the triangle ABC we can write the following. For the triangle ACD we can write the following. And this is a system we need to solve for x and cosine alpha. Let's also calculate the x. After knowing the sine alpha and the x, we can put these values into this formula and finally get the answer. The circumradius is equal 5 square root 17 divided by 8 which is approximately 2.6. Thanks for watching. Bye.